Hi, my name is Luke Brinkley. I started Brinkley Developments about three and a half years ago. Um, always been into trucks and machinery since I was a young fella. I grew up working on my Uncle John Franson's farm in the school holidays and uh, that was where I learned to drive diggers from the age of about eight years old. And um, yeah, there after that it was just tractors, trucks, anything with a motor and a bit of horsepower I was into and uh, yeah. Um, so I, I started by, uh, I got myself a Ford Trader from up north and a, um, and a 1.6 Yamaha digger and away I went digging with that and uh, soon I, uh, certainly I outgrew that and needed something bigger. So I got a four ton Komatsu and uh, the T-Line which is behind me. That came from um, New Plymouth. I bought it from a guy down there, it was about two and a half years ago now. And uh, it was, it, it had the grey paint job but all the rest of it was white and all sorts of uh, different trims on it and things. So I quickly uh, got to work and pulled a few parts off, replacing things and painting things up and whatnot, and uh, just to give it my own bit of character. Everything was always uh, upgraded, um, bigger, stronger, faster, whatever I could do to uh, make the machine better and go more efficiently. It's definitely um, always on the cards, yeah. Uh, T-Line's got a 350 Big Cam Cummins in it and um, it's got an upgraded whole set turbo on it, which is slightly bigger than um, the one that was on there originally. So that gives it a bit more power. I especially notice that when I've got a full load on the back and I'm going up a hill, you can just put your foot down without um, chopping down a gear and it just takes off really. I'm really happy with the way that it, um, it performs. Oh. Yeah, yeah, now the stacks are good. They're a, a nice bit of, bit of add-on to it. Um, yeah, put a slightly larger diameter stack on it as well and um, definitely gets the uh, fumes up faster <clears throat> and it, um, yeah, it gives it a bit more power. Number plates, so they're inspired by uh, the movie series Mad Max. Uh, so this one's got Fury Road and uh, K100 has Fury 2 on it and um, got a couple other plates as well on the work it's Dump On You and on the uh, Ford Trader is Dump On You. So the Kenworth was, uh, is um, going to be my transporter. Um, I bought it last year from a guy in Christchurch and it had a flat deck on it. Uh, so I transported it up here and then pulled the flat deck off it sold that and then started the full rebuild of the truck. Um, sort of came to a bit of a halt when I uh, started designing some particular toolboxes and, um, and fuel tanks for it as well. Yeah, obviously blew the budget. Oh, we started paddle work as well and, and then discovered that it had uh, about seven thick coats of paint. So we ended up sandblasting the cab and um, doing a lot more panel work than expected. So. Everything sort of took a lot longer than um, what we expected and, uh, and also cost more money so it sort of put everything um, a little bit behind and um, sort of stuffed my whole schedule up. So now we're in the new year, um, back to starting it again so yeah, I'll be back into um, getting this thing on the road. So we've already um, scraped back the entire chassis um, and given that a paint job and I'd eat dinner off that, it's so clean. Uh, currently got a bit of dust on it. but. It's, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Um, and I pulled the wheels off and the tyres. We sandblasted the wheels and then put new lower profile tyres on it to um, have a lower centre of gravity, which would be good. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting the deck on. Gonna have a nice big long deck on it. Um, really low to the ground, like as low as we can get it. And then have a nice easy dovetail at the back with large ramps. So even if we're getting something like a lowered car, um, driving up the ramps, it's not going to be too hard. I also have um, twist locks for a 20 foot container and in the future be looking to put a high ab on the front as well. Maybe, we'll see how we go. Just to make it more of a usable truck.